Hello and welcome to the introduction video of my Sinti Farm Pack crop cycle tutorial series. In this first video we will be covering just project setup, setting up files and getting everything ready to move forward. So this is just a demo scene that I was working on to try out stuff that you make. So this is a quick demonstration of what we're working towards. Um, we set up all our variables so that you can child this and make all the different plants. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to change things, like I can change the amount of time it takes for the plant to grow, the produce to grow and how long it takes to ripen, whether or not it does ripen or not. Some some produce like for example eggplant doesn't actually ripen, it just stays the same. In, the, in that case you would un you would uncheck that and it would just work like normal. Right, so we just simulate. And then at the end of the growth sequence, it will spit out is ripe the boolean variable, and you will be able to interact with that. For example, you can harvest it or whatever you want to do from there. All right, so we are just going to set up a new project. I'm going to go to new third person, you could go first person if you want, doesn't really matter, tutorial, Sinti, farm, crop, so blueprint, desktop, maximum, uh, we're not going to use starter content and ray tracing, you can always add starter content if you need it, create, First things first, you're normally going to dismiss and update. Alright, so what we want to do, we need to keep everything neat and tidy. So we'll add a new folder, and this will be called our plants. Uh, I'm going to select a color for it, set color, uh, just like green. Just because everything gets a bit difficult once you have a million folders. So we're in here, we're just going to go new folder and we're going to need blueprints. We are going to need a material folder, materials. We're going to need meshes folder. And usually you also need a texture folder, textures. All right, so that's that set up. Now what we want to do is import our Sinti assets. So we're going to go and you want to have them separate. I've got on my computer, I download all the Sinti assets and keep them separate so I can copy everything over that way you don't muck around inside the actual pack and you can always go back to it and pull things out so we're going to go in here yep this is what we want I'm just going to right click on polyfarm we want to migrate uh, just make sure it hasn't got. Yeah, see, I don't want the starter pack contents. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go back through to our project that we're in. Uh, so it's tutorial farm crop.
and, and we're just going to import it into the content. Right, so that's successful. We're just going to close out of that. Don't need that anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to set this color, new color, make it a yellow. Alright, so everything's nice and easy. Okay, and that is the project set up, ready to go. Thanks.